What is the actual difference between pop and classical singing when it comes to male voices? Let's talk about it today. Hi and welcome to today's video. In case you don't know me yet, my name is Freya Casey. I'm a professional singer and vocal coach from Germany. I have sung both in opera theater and pop, musical theater, jazz, all kinds of different genres professionally on stage all over the world. And one thing that is really relevant is that it really matters what genre you sing in because that will determine how you approach your technique. Now, while a lot of things don't change, no matter what you sing in, you know, what genre and what piece you sing in, your breathing, your posture, your support, those principles all, all hold true. However, your resonance and how exactly you guide the sound waves that your vocal cords produce, that makes the biggest difference. I chose a piece, Dein ist mein ganzes Herz. It's a German piece by Franz Leha from the operetta Das Land des Lächelns, the land of smiles or of smile or smiling. I'm a native German, so I chose this song because I think it lends itself to either be sung classically, which of course it's out of an operetta, which would be the typical way to sing it. But I can also demonstrate to you how you would sing it if you were to sing it non-classically, but more pop. Number one determinant factor is the diction. You want to be very, very, very clear and very specific and a little bit exaggerating when you're singing classically. So that's the first factor. The second factor is space. You, because typically when you sing classically, you're not going to have a microphone. You're not going to be amplified. You want to fill the space, the room, wherever you are with your voice without any PA system. So there will be an orchestra. That's the setting this was composed for. And you want to sing over the orchestra so that you're still heard. And in order to do that, you want to make sure you create lots and lots of resonating space that really travels, adding bright overtones that layer upon layer onto the just the raw pitch. That will make sure that your sound waves travel really far and they really cut above. They cut through the noise of the orchestra, although it may be beautiful, but they really float above. And that's really important. You may not need to have the loudest voice in the world, but if you have those overtones, you can still carry and actually project outward and be heard over the orchestra. I'm gonna demonstrate here in just, just a second. So diction, resonance. And of course, what goes together with that is compression. You need so much compression. You wanna try to sing very efficiently, use all the air with as much air pressure, that subglottal pressure that I always talk about, that you know hits this, the vocal cords. A very dense airstream hits the vocal cords, and you create that by having really good and continuous support. So having said that, here's how it would sound. Of course, I'm not a tenor, but if I were a tenor, that's kind of how it would sound with all the aspects that I just described. Dein ist mein ganzes Herz, wo du nicht bist, kann ich nicht sein. So wie die Blume welkt, wenn sie nicht küsst, der Sonnenschein. Weil es allein aus der Liebe blüht, sag mir noch einmal ein Geint einzig lieb. Oh, sag noch einmal mir, ich hab dich lieb. Again, I am absolutely not a tenor. I am not trained as a tenor. That is not what I do, but I tried to demonstrate with those principles that I just described. Now, I want to show you the difference if you sang this in pop style 
your diction would be less pronounced, less, I, would do, I wouldn't call it exaggerated in classical, but you don't have to work as hard because you would typically have a microphone and if you sing softer, it's totally okay because it will be amplified. As a matter of fact, when you sing pop, you actually don't want to project all the time too much because it's, you know, you will have a mic and you play with the distance of the mic to create more intimacy, to more, like a more intimate sound. So at times it will sound when you're singing into the mic and you're singing softly and you put the mic closely to your mouth, it will sound to your audience like you're really close to them because you're close to the mic, okay? You don't need as much compression, which does not mean you don't need really good support and really good compression. Not at that level though. You also don't need to work so hard to project outward. It's more about nuances and voice colors and intimacy and it's okay to be a little bit more breathy. It's okay to just be more intimate and as a matter of fact, you don't want to start too artificial or artsy. You want to sound very natural, like you're just telling a story. You know, I don't speak like this, Dein ist mein ganzes Herz. That's not how I would speak. It's a little <laughs> unnatural, right? You also can add more ad-libs and have more freedom to do your own thing, different voice colors, maybe a little bit of vocal fry here and there, a little bit of breathiness and sliding and slurring wherever it's suitable. Oh, and one more thing I did forget to mention was that in classical music, you pretty much want to turn on vibrato pretty much all of the time. But in pop music, it's okay to play around with it a little bit more and to have straight tones or vibrato, there's more variation, okay? Dein ist mein ganzes Herz, wo du nicht bist, kann ich nicht sein. So wie die Blume weckt, wenn sie nicht küsst, der Sonnenschein. Dein ist mein schönstes Lied, weil es allein aus der Liebe erblüht, sag mir noch einmal, mein einzig Lieb, mein einzig Lieb, oh sag noch einmal mir, ich hab dich lieb. So because you don't have to project outward more, you have more freedom to play around with the intimacy. So these are the main differences between pop and classical singing when it comes to male voices. In my next video, I'm gonna explain the difference when it comes to female voices. So make sure you tune in again next time. Until then, don't forget, always keep a song in your heart and always keep on singing.